Hello and welcome. In the early hours of 15th of November, an Argentinian Navy submarine called the San Juan was returning to its home base, but it made a call and it told its base that there was a short circuit in the battery of the submarine. But later on, the submarine said that the problem had been resolved and that they were then getting submerged and returning to their home base. Unfortunately, at 7.30 a.m. that day, that was the last time the submarine was ever communicated to all leads on the submarine's whereabouts have now turned cold. In fact, there are reports which indicate that there was an explosion heard in or around the site where the submarine was. And from that day onwards, notwithstanding a multinational intensive effort from the air, at sea as well as subsurface, there's been no trace whatsoever. The San Juan is a Type 1700 German submarine which the Argentinian Navy had inducted into its fold way back in 1983. But why should we in India be paying attention to this tragedy? We should because Indian Navy is among the largest navies in the world. In fact, it operates a growing fleet of submarines. Currently, India has about 15 submarines, four of which are of the exact type and equipment fit as the San Juan. As the search for San Juan continues, guess what is the biggest hurdle that the rescuers are facing? The biggest hurdle that they're facing is the fact that San Juan, like any other submarine, is designed to operate secretly and it is designed to operate in a stealth mode. This is precisely the reason its biggest asset is now its biggest liability as no ships or no form of equipment has been able to spot the San Juan as of now. No matter how you look at it, San Juan is an immense tragedy. The Indian Navy also suffered an immense tragedy when its submarine INS Sindhu Rakshak blew up within the Mumbai harbour in August 2013, killing all of those on board. However, having said that, Indian Navy has been lucky and its efforts have been rightly placed because India has never lost a submarine to accidents at sea. So how does the Indian Navy work to prevent an instance like the San Juan? And what if an instance like San Juan was to actually take place in India? Let's start with the training first. Abundant precaution is the name of the game. The submarine arm is a volunteer's only arm. It's a highly trained and the best paid arm. In fact, submarine training is so intense that the Navy provides to every single trainee one individual trainer. During peacetime, a submarine is supposed to send out a check signal once in every 24 hours. If the 25th hour arrives and there has been no signal, the search commences immediately. The search is done using submarines, using surface vessels like ships as well as aircraft. In fact, India does have an agreement in place with the United States where if India were to request for assistance, the US Navy would fly down its equipment to India within 48 hours to aid the effort. But the biggest problem the Navy now faces is the fact that India has no equipment whatsoever to conduct a modern search and rescue as of now. In fact, India has contracted for these latest equipments, but they are likely to arrive not before the end of next year. Notwithstanding all the technological advancements made, history unfortunately offers no happy stories insofar as an episode of a crew gone missing and then being rescued out alive from a submarine is concerned. And yet, when it comes to improving safety, revising procedures, upgrading equipment, revisiting training is concerned, there are no shortcuts whatsoever. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.